Okay, in this example we're told that uh, we have a device for measuring the surface level of liquid in a tank. And it's done by um, discharging some air into the tank, just a small amount of air, so it's basically stagnant air in here. It's not really moving very much. It goes through the tube and we're going to measure the gauge pressure here of the air. And then uh, from that, and then also knowing the distance of the tube from the bottom, so that you would know just from when you install this tube here. From that gauge pressure measurement and then this distance little h, you can find the depth of the liquid in the tank, capital H. The other thing that you need to know is the specific gravity of the liquid in the tank. So that presumably you would know, you would know what's stored in your tank, so you would know that specific gravity. So the way we're going to work this out is we're going to uh, pick a couple of points. Let's call this point 1 and then let's call this point 2 right at the exit of the, the tube. So that's right at the exit of the tube there. And then we'll just use hydrostatics to figure out the, the pressure there. So pressure at 2, just working this way, pressure 2 is going to be the pressure at 1 plus the density of that liquid, I'll just call it rho L, times G times the depth, which would be capital H minus little h. So it's this, this distance, capital H minus little h here. Okay, and so that's the pressure at 2. Of course, the pressure at 1 is just going to be um, atmospheric pressure, so it's, it'll be equal to 0 gauge pressure. Right, so then, so then what will, let me uh, rewrite this. So then P2 gauge will be rho L G H minus little h. Let's go ahead and rearrange that so that we can solve for the capital H. Just doing a little rearranging. Okay, so there we go. The P2 gauge is this pressure that we measure here. Now, now we know that P2 is the pressure down there, but since this tube is filled with air, we know that the pressure will be a constant with elevation in, in this air because it's a gas, and the pressure doesn't vary much with elevation in a gas. So P2 here, it's going to be the same pressure up here where the gauge is. So that's when, when you read the gauge, that's the pressure that we use here. Here's the specific gravity of the liquid times the density of the water, so that gives you the density of the liquid. Of course, G is the acceleration due to gravity, and H is that distance when you installed the tube, knowing how far it is from the bottom. So if we uh, use the numbers that are given, so we're told that the gauge pressure is 20 kilopascals, so we can plug that in, 20 kilopascals, it's gauge pressure. The height here is one meter, we're told. Fluid has a specific gravity of 0 0.85. Density of water, we'll say, is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared. We can plug in those numbers, and what you'll get is H comes out to be 3.4 meters. So it's kind of a neat application of uh, the hydrostatic pressure relation. Um, you can see we can use it to get a, a pretty good estimate of the depth in the tank. So it's kind of a neat application there. All right, we'll end the example there.